All right, let's get back to Chris. It is going to be a hot one. And Chris, we could be looking to break a record that's been around since before we were officially a state. Hard to believe. One of the oldest records still on the books. It is in jeopardy today. I'll show you that date here coming up. Uh, we'll start off with the current temperatures. Mostly widespread 90s here on the eastern plains. Colorado Springs and Lyman still in the 80s. Same at Trinidad. Higher up, that's where you need to go if you want to cool down. 70s and 80s there with 80s also on the western slope. 94 already in the eastern part of Douglas County at Phil Curry's house and 92 at Dan's place up there in Westminster and he is reporting the hazy skies due to our bad air quality an alert in effect for the urban corridor uh, the state health department saying unhealthy for all and we have a bunch of tips uh, that you can follow the one in this little box right here is telling you to get gasoline after 5 or 6 p.m. and to stop at the click don't overtop your tank. What's in the air today is primarily uh, ozone. We have a lot of wildfire smoke in the west, but most of that is to the north of Colorado. A little bit of wildfire smoke grazing our northern counties from time to time, but the pollution today, again, primarily high levels of ozone. Big high pressure sitting overhead. That's a sinking motion in the atmosphere. It kind of keeps things still and really doesn't allow things to mix up. It is going to shift a little over the next few days. It will back up, uh, but it builds also deeper in into the Rockies. So we won't see a whole lot of change in the next three to five days, except as this shifts west, it will allow some of that monsoon moisture to come back in. For today, eastern Colorado is kind of under the dry slot of this ridge, but you see this cloud cover here on the west. That's the edge of the monsoon plume, already seeing some thunderstorms in parts of Utah. And if you look real close, you see just a few little blips of green on our western slope. That will soon become showers and thunderstorms for western Colorado. If you live east of the Continental Divide today, it's going to stay dry. We'll actually be hard pressed to see a lot of cloud cover, but the western side of the state, a good chance for some showers and storms. And this is great news. You need it probably the most out of uh, all of us because your drought is so bad. Some of those showers could last into the evening uh, hours tonight. 70s and actually more widespread 80s likely in the high country. We could approach the 90s out west if the cloud cover holds off just a little longer. The heat is here on the plains. You'll see 90s even near 100. And I was talking about that date with Dominic just a bit ago. Check this out. It goes all the way back to 1876 and there's a very good chance that record will fall later today. Here's Denver's five day forecast. So Dom, we round out the month of July in this five day period. Uh, Saturday is the last day of the month and it does look like we'll get a cool down coming for the weekend with a really good chance for showers and storms statewide. But until then, it's H O T exclamation point. It is hot. Chris, we were still the Colorado territory on that date. Uh, yeah. A little bit later we were Colorado, but gosh, hard to believe, huh? It is something else. What a great <laughs> stat. All right. Thanks, Chris.